Chasing your customers for the amounts they owe you is a job not many people look forward to. But Xero can help you make the process as easy as possible. So let's go to Sales, Accounts and Sales. We're often so busy running our businesses that we overlook how much money is overdue to us. Xero likes to remind us in big red numbers. We can see this company is owed nearly £7,000, spread over five invoices. This figure is also represented on this graph here, as well as the graph on the main dashboard. Both graphs are driven by the due dates. Let's go and have a look at these overdue invoices. So if we start at the bottom, with the, with the one that's most overdue, City Limousines. And in fact, I've got three overdue City Limousines invoices. So if I click on the plus button next to the due date. I get some information that's held in the contacts. I have a name and some phone numbers. So I can speak to Martin and ask him when we can expect payment. So I'm just going to note in this box, spoke to Martin, And he's going to pay this particular invoice on the 1st of December. So I can find the 1st of December and save. He's also going to pay this second invoice on the 1st of December. And save. And the third one will be paid in January. And I can save that. Now, if someone else in the business or if I come back and it's gone past the 1st of December, this date will also go red. And if I click on the date, I can also see the build up of notes underneath. So the credit control details that I've written here and also the details that anybody else has written if they've contacted the client as well. Now these dates, the new expected due dates, are also represented on the graph. So if I go back to the main sales dashboard, I can see the graph has changed. So I now have the city limousines are due in the future and I no longer have anything in the September column.